Good morning! Today is Thursday morning and yesterday was actually a family day. Some of you may know but I lost a younger brother and yesterday was the seventh year that he wasn't here. Um, so we always do a family get-together. I'm gonna put on some makeup while we do this. We all got together and we just talk about him and how great he was and he left us um, a son. So I have a nephew which looks so much like my brother, it's crazy. Um, and I got to spend time with him which was amazing. Family times are the best times. So that was pretty much my day. I got to see my dad, got to see old friends, go to one of my favorite restaurants in Tokyo which is owned by my little brother's best friend um, if you've never been and you love like paellas and anything Spanish anything with wine <laughs> then you should definitely check it out it's in Daikayama it's called Sal y Amor Amore um, and it's really good it's so good and the atmosphere too is just really good so did that and then came back home late last night trying this out still um, passed out but then in the middle of the night there was um, thunder like really loud thunder so I kept waking up so I kind of feel groggy today Ooh. but I have a meeting so I'm gonna head out to that and then um, when I used to work at a nail salon, which is another fun fact, um, I have a nail license. So I worked at a nail salon for a while because I really liked doing little art things on nails and that's the main reason why I started. Um, so yeah, I worked at a nail salon for a couple years and one of the girls, she moved back here to Japan and she has her own little nail salon shop now, so I'm gonna go see her, maybe get my nails done and come back and then I have another busy day tomorrow. I have a couple meetings tomorrow. Don't know how much I'm gonna be able to shoot because I know I'm gonna be in the office all day, but it will be a somewhat busy day. Korea was so much fun. I still think about Korea and, and how good the food was and I mean Japan has amazing food too but I haven't really explored Korea so it was very new to me still and yeah now I know a little bit about K-pop which is really weird because I really didn't care or didn't know much about it so my friend kind of schooled me on it and using also the new concealer that I got. It actually blends in really well. So I've just been using it under my eyes and I pat it in. Today I'm gonna do pretty simple because it's hot and humid. Um, I can't do too much makeup because then it'll just kind of melt off my face. I gotta find out how the Japanese girls do it or how the girls in Florida do it. Yeah, I'm still kind of breaking out here. I don't know what's happening. Traveling and keeping up with your skin is a little rough sometimes. Since today is a meeting, I thought I'd actually put on some makeup and not just do the powder. I've actually been enjoying the powder. Um, if you saw my Sephora VIB haul, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But I thought I would just keep it concealer and powder. And it's been pretty easy, but today my meeting is for um, this online TV show that I'm actually going to do Monday night. So, and I think it'll be live. You guys might be able to watch it. I don't know. Um, anyways, we're shooting that. So today's the meeting for that. So I should look somewhat presentable. Okay, one thing that I forgot to bring on this trip uh, was my blush. So this is all I have. It's the NARS Multiple Stick, which I guess it's fine. 
but I kind of do miss my blush. I don't know if I did it on purpose, I can't remember, but I kind of wish I had my blush. This thing is so big and it never runs out and I only use like a little little bit. Um, when I try to overdo it, it kind of gets in my creases. So I only need a little. It will never run out, ever, ever. I feel like they filled it up even more from before. Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. I've just been kind of using it the way you do Bare Minerals. Just putting it in the cap like that. And then taking a little brush. It's like a little stipple brush. But blending it in and then kind of just getting it around my eyes. Another thing that I've been doing is taking my hourglass. Um, this is actually the Radiant Light Ambient Powder, but I'm kind of using it as a bronzer. So I kind of just put it on top of my cheekbones like this. So it kind of gives it more of like a natural cheek blush color. And then down on my jaw with my Too Faced. Just so that it won't run off my face. I'm just going to put it like right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is the morning. And then I'll take this with me. I did do my eyebrows does make me look a little more awake. This eye looks really big. I don't know. My face is starting to mutate. Um, for my eyes, I'm going to keep it simple. I just brought my Naked 3 palette. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit of... What is this? Oh, I can't even read it anymore. Busy? Busy in the corner of my eyes and underneath. I haven't been back to Japan. Um, gonna use Buzz for a year, so it does get a bit overwhelming when. You go to the station and it's rush hour. So let's hope I can keep my cool. <laughs> Lunar, sort of pink, red. I brought my little uh, small tapered blending brush from Stilla and I'm just gonna blend it in my creases that some eyeliner and today I'm going to use the Real Lasting Eyeliner Liquid Tattoo which is a really really fine this is the micro version I don't know if you can see but it's super super fine so I'm just going to add a little bit to define my eyes pretty simple today that's the thing I usually don't carry makeup but when it's hot and humid, and you don't have a car like you do in LA, then you kind of have to bring things to touch up while you're out. So I think I'm going to bring my powder, my eyebrow, what else? Should I bring mascara? Do you think it'll fall off or melt off? I don't know. Um, and then some lipstick. I've been loving my little bite lipstick, the one that I got from my from the VIB 
sale. Um, so I think I'm just going to dab a little bit of that. So I'm going to do my hair, get ready, and then I'll be out the door hopefully soon. I actually think I need to be out in about 30 minutes. Ooh, sooner than 30 minutes. So... Uh,